Hello there. I'm Chris Gosnell. I'm a digital visibility expert, and I want to talk to you about video. Specifically today, what do you make your videos and your business about? Some people want to start spouting off their benefits and services. Okay, there's benefit to that. Absolutely there is. But first, let's make it a little bit more relevant to your client. What problem of your clients are you solving with your products and services? Why should it make any difference to them? Okay, you might get a couple of views simply because they know you, they network with you, they like you. Maybe they like something about you. But if instead, if you really get their attention with what problem you solve, oh my goodness, that's going to be a big one. And put it in the title. Put it in the title of the videos. Talk about it right offhand. Get to the point. So tell them about it. What is the problem that you solve with your products and services? We know a lot of things about our clients. We know a lot more about them than they think because we're in the business. We hear the problems. We see the issues. We know what's going on. We know their questions. We know the answers. We know the things that they should be asking versus the things that they are asking. They may be asking, oh my gosh, how much is that going to cost? Instead of, I mean, would you buy a car simply based on how much it cost? Simply how much it cost? What about make, model, engine size, torque, um, other considerations? I mean, come on, there's just so many considerations when it comes to buying a car. So why would price be the one and only question you ask first? It's not going to be. That's kind of the point. So change your client's perception of things. Talk to them first about what it is that's their problem. So for instance, uh, I work with Bill's Plumbing in my BNI chapter, and I know a lot about their business because I listen to them talk. I listen to Jen Rowley talk every week about the plumbing business and how they serve their clients. Well, when our kitchen drain wasn't draining so quickly um, and it was really becoming a problem, I knew from hearing from her that I could call and get them to come out and snake the line. Now I have a snake, little hand cranky thing, goes out pretty far. I could use liquid plumber, I could get it done. It's a lot cheaper because I already have that stuff or the liquid plumber is pretty inexpensive. But I already knew that that was gonna be a problem. I knew that I wasn't going to be able to do what they could do for me. So I called them out. They got in there with their big motorized snake and it went like 45 feet into the, I mean, it was just awesome, right? My drain, no problems with the drain ever since. And I probably won't have any troubles with it for a long time. But I didn't ask her how much it cost right offhand. I learned about it first. And I learned about it because she brought up the subject. Bring up the subject with your clients on video. Put it on social media. Make a blog post. Put it on your website so that it can do double duty with keyword searches and search engine optimization, SEO. Talk about it first. So if it was Bill's Plumbing, I'd say make some videos about snake draining. Okay, or snake, yeah, snaking out those drains. That's the right word. And what it does for you versus what you can do for yourself. And then the people are going to already know the value. And then when they see the price that's really reasonable, they're going to be like, um, yes, thank you very much. When can I schedule you to come? What are the problems that your products and services fix? What hell is it that you and you with your products and services with your business are delivering your clients from what heaven are you delivering them to with your products and services talk about that 